Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. So welcome to the second video of the day, and it's a pretty important one. I need your help. Uh, first thing just to quickly say though is I am a little bit ill at the moment. Um, I I'll try my best to keep it together for the 10-15 minutes that I'm talking. Uh, but my throat is actually one of the weak points, so if I've got to take a drink or something like that just in advance, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, I need your help. This video is all about getting feedback from you, data collection from you, uh, to help this upcoming few months on the channel. So I hope you guys take it seriously. Uh, this video is going to be one of the ones that we've partnered up with QT. So in the description, there'll be a QT that you can uh, click on, um, and that will direct you to a QT that's asking you what your rating is uh, and why, basically. Um, so we did this about six months ago, roughly, uh, but a lot obviously can change in six months and you guys learn new things. Um, so I want to do an updated version as a bit of an incentive. I do have, ugh, get them all together, three Riot Point cards to give away. You can see all of them are unscratched on the back. Um, so all of them are brand new. Um, so they will be given out to just people that comment on the QT. And all you got to do is... Go in the, the QT itself, make an account if you haven't, it really doesn't take long. Go to answer it. Uh, it'll ask you to filter what rank you are. So if you're a diamond plus, you'll click diamond plus. If you're silver, you click silver, unranked, whatever you are, just click. It's very straightforward. And let me know uh, just some basic stuff. You know, what? why do you think you're that rating? What's holding you back? What is something that you think you need to improve on? And the idea behind it and why I want to do this is because every single year I try to make the unranked to diamond series the best it's ever been. And I believe last season was. It was very quick because we tryharded. Obviously, this season we'll still be like tryharding, but we're going to be doing off-meta stuff because that that's part of climbing as well. It's not all about seriousness. Um, so I want to have as many topics to cover uh, as I possibly can. And when you guys are leaving, oh, I think I'm in silver because, or I don't think I'm gold because, then I get to see all that and I get to talk about it in the commentaries, which is, is amazing. It's good feedback. It's literally talking about you, what you guys need. So it's very on point. Uh, and it also helps you guys as well. If you want to like look at your own research, you can use this QT as well. Filter the results to the rating you're in or filter the result to a rating higher than you. And if people are saying this is why I'm gold and you're in silver, maybe you can try and make, you know, where's the gap? Um, so that's pretty cool as well. So that's the basic overview to today's discussion video is please uh, go on the QT, put your rating in. There's a chance to win some right points. I really want to try and minimum hit like 500 responses. So I probably will promote this one quite hard. The more data I get, the more I actually can go off with on Ranked to Diamond. It's pretty much that simple. Um, so yeah, if you do help that, thanks very much. Uh, the rest of the QT discussion uh, is going to be talking about um basically league of legends as a whole how do i think league of legends is is going at the moment <clears throat> and again you guys can leave your feedback but i'd say if you want to leave your feedback leave it in the comment section for this one so do all the rank stuff what rating you are, are you on the qt and now we're going to go into the topic <clears throat> of how do i feel league what do i think the direction of league is and am i happy about it uh, and again you guys can join in in the comment section so League of Legends, when it was first booming, again, season one was League booming, not really. It was like season two, season three, that League of Legends really boomed to what it is today. Uh, League, I, I've said before, League of Legends never used to kind of hold your hand. Um, it was just basic, a very basic MOBA in, in principle. It didn't have any weird gimmicks, like Dota has creep denying. Like, there was only one hero that did, and that was Gangplank, but they got rid of that. It was just a very basic, straightforward MOBA, which is it's weird, but there wasn't one. Because uh, all the other MOBAs like doing those weird gimmicks that nobody really enjoyed that much. Uh, and obviously that propelled League of Legends to kind of crazy status. You know, right now, uh, when you compare other MOBAs, n none of them actually come really that close. You know, I think Dota 2 is in second. And Dota 2 isn't even Valve's biggest game anymore. That's PUBG. You know, the, the most played game on Steam is PlayerUnknown Battlegrounds, not Dota. Which is a bit worrying for Valve, to be honest. Uh, your your kind of headline game um but the the recent direction <clears throat> over the past few years has definitely and i have mentioned this before but it's definitely been opening up to a more casual audience broader audience etc uh, and this is where you know i can give it to you guys because again i sometimes definitely feel out of touch when it comes to let's say the casual player base i have not considered myself a casual league of legends player since season two and we're now coming into season eight so like six years ago, really, 
Um, so it, it's a bit hard for me sometimes to put my... I try to put my mind into that avenue, but sometimes it's a bit difficult. Because uh, I remember when I was learning League of Legends, I, I, again, maybe it's just me as a person, but I still don't like getting my hand held when I'm learning something um like a video game or whatever and i think league does it a bit too much nowadays and if you're like what would you mean well first there was the timers at the top of the map so you don't need to time anything now everybody knows when the red buffs up the blue buffs up the dragons you don't need to time anything and obviously that's a very small thing but that did differentiate people that definitely did like again when it came to people that were playing very casual they wouldn't time anything people that wanted to try a bit more and climb the ranks they would so there was a bit of a difference there but now that's gone away uh, pinging everything is in the game now so pinging cooldowns items gold again that was part of league of legends is to know even what your teammates can do um even you know again you don't you had to kind of predict if your teammates were ready and you had to work together where well, now you can just 100 percent tell your teammates yo i'm not ready they, again that may again a lot of people probably see that as a good thing i'm not saying it's a bad thing i'm just saying it's different and it's definitely more casual inclined and then there's a couple more things. The dragons, certain champions like Zoe are based on RNG, so random number generators. That, yeah, like that. that's just, to me, a bit more casual. Again, they spent what I'd argue, again, if you're like, oh, League's always been a bit casual. There was a couple of casual elements, maybe in Season 1 and Season 2, because of the design restrictions on the designers that they had. Maybe they didn't have the best coders or artists or whatever to put the vision forward. So there were some random elements in Season 1 and Season 2. Uh, most notably, probably Jax uh, had dodge percentage. Uh, they got rid of that. So in Season 3 and Season 4, they spent a lot of that getting rid of those random elements, I, I feel, and, and kind of streamlining the game. And then probably perhaps from Season 5, they really have tried to kind of casualize, casualify it. That's probably not a real word, but... That, that's kind of the way that I generally feel. Again, it, another big one was obviously Dynamic queue. That, to me, is the ultimate casual queue, which is now Flex. Because um, it takes away the impact from Ranked, in my opinion. Uh, if you can just kind of do it with a bunch of friends, but then someone can drop out and then another guy can come in. Like, that, to me, just isn't a very hardcore Ranked experience. And I, I think Riot did learn the, their lesson with Dynamic queue, but I'm going to be honest... I see they. I, I can kind of see it in a couple of years time that they are going to try and bring it back to some degree. And obviously we we have um, clash mode that's up upcoming. That that actually does seem quite a hardcore game mode, which I'm in love with the the in game tournament. Uh, but there's also a lot of people that are unhappy about that. You know, which is crazy to me that they're like, oh, I've, you know, I don't have a friend group, I can't play. It's like it's, it's a tournament system, so no. Uh, the one trick community seems really salty about clash mode which is the most confusing thing that i've ever seen because they're like oh scouting shouldn't be a thing but scouting is a hundred percent a thing in tournaments so like clash mode to me is a it's a definite correct step in the right direction i think maybe riot again you, please do, join the discussion in the comments but i think riot maybe a, a partially have been listening uh, to maybe the big voice of the casual gamer saying league is hard help but then there is a smaller voice in the background of the hardcore league player the ranked only whatever whoever they are and they're kind of like what about us yo don't forget about us and that's clash mode uh which is cool uh, and i'd say if you are someone's like oh, i don't have a friend group and that there will 100 percent be ways to find groups for clash mode uh, I well, Again, this video is partnered with QT. I think QT is actually going to be hosting boards that you guys can find teams eventually. So that's obviously something really cool. Um, but yeah, I, I'm I'm happy about Clash Mode. Um, solo slash duo, I'm I'm always fine with. Again, back before bef before Dynamic Q was ever a thing, I was a massive advocate for. I wish it was only solo Q. I still think that would be cool. But because we had such a bad season in Season 6 with Dynamic Q, I am always going to be completely fine with Solo slash Duo compared to how Dynamic Q was. And they've actually done a recent change that I don't know if anybody's heard. You probably have in the patch notes. Um, but they've actually changed the restriction of Duo queuing in Challenger. Uh, so the past season or so, you couldn't Duo queue in Challenger because they wanted it to be the hardcore experience. But basically what they found, uh, as you guys probably know, 
when you do a queue, you raise your MMR, so you play with higher rating people. Well, most challenger games were just filled with master duo queuers. So you either take away duo queue for master as well, or you just add challenger duo queue, which a lot of people who are, who are um, bot lame, who are challenger, have been asking for, because how does an LCS bot lane practice in solo queue? They don't. So now they can. So I'm okay with that. Um, again, you either go pure solo queue or you allow duo queuing and stuff like that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. It's it's an interesting topic because there are so many spectrums of hardcore to casual. There's like so much stuff in between. Uh, if you're wondering where I am, I'm not as hardcore as you can go. Um, just by the way, a lot of people think I am like, no, I finish a rank season at the end of every season, roughly with about 500 games. I think now... Uh, with preseason included on my main account, I've about 700, um, because I've played about 200 games in preseason. That's not a lot for somebody who, um, yeah, that, 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 that's just not a lot of games. So, so, let's say 500 in a season, 700 including preseason. I, I probably, I will say, with the upcoming season, I do see myself on my main account probably hitting the over a thousand mark this season, so probably doubling the amount of games that I play. Um, but yeah, that that. I'm looking to go pretty hard in this season. And as I said to you guys, consistency is something I've always struggled with and playing more gives consistency. Uh, but yeah, I'm not the most hardcore. I, I still play ARAMs nearly every day. I nearly play an ARAM a day with my friends. Um, I just don't play normal games is pretty much my thing. And I don't want a game to hold my hand. Like that, They're the two big things. I don't play normal games because I may as well play ranked. And I don't want a game to just hold my hand and like... Basically, the way that I see it, if I had to kind of describe it in like one sentence, League of Legends feels like a bike on training wheels compared to a normal bike now. There's like, there's all these little training things that, you know, the ping system and the random elements that it just feels a little bit weird to me. Again, it's going to probably feel a lot weirder to me as somebody that played since season one. If you played since season five or four, it probably doesn't feel that weird. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. So again, please uh, put your rank in the QT. Let me know a couple reasons why you're that rank. Why don't you think you're higher? Uh, even if you don't want to type, just please leave your rank at least. That does help out. There is obviously three right point cards on the line here. Uh, and then in, in this video, in the comment section down below, let me know what you think about the potential casualifying uh, of League of Legends. Are you okay with it? Do you agree? um what, what do you think would be good let me know it, it's both i think are really good topics one helps me for unranked to diamond and the channel over the next couple of months and one i'm just genuinely interested what you guys think uh, so please help out uh, again this video was probably like me going i need your help um so have a good day hopefully my throat will be okay uh, i will say this video if memory says correct was supposed to be a gameplay uh, for obvious reasons with my throat it is actually dying right now um, I'm, I've got a spare commentary, but I'm going to put that up tomorrow and hopefully by tomorrow my throat is okay and I can start doing commentaries again. Um, so I'll see you guys then. Have a good day. Peace.